Hello friends, welcome to my channel, myself Parag Dambulkar. In this video, we will see how to use special or reserve characters in our HTML code. So here, I have listed out some characters and in this video, we will see how to use these characters in our HTML code. For example, this less than, greater than, space, ampersand, single code, double code, copyright, uh, register trademark, then rupee symbol, cent symbol, pound symbol, or n symbol, or euro symbol. So how to use the special characters or reserve characters in our HTML code that we will see. But before that, we will see what is the use of using this code. Now see, suppose I want to mention this thing. Visit our web page www.combro.com here slash in angular brackets page name dot html okay likewise i want to mention i have saved it now when i refresh it so see what i got visit our web page so see here yeah, i am zooming it visit our web page www.combro.com slash dot html but there i mention see here i have mentioned page name and that I have mentioned in Angular bracket, less than symbol and greater than symbol, but it is not visible on our web page. See, it is not visible here. Why? Because whenever we are mentioning anything, this in uh, Angular brackets, so it is considered as a tag. So see, this is a body HTML, body HTML, all these are the tags, and those are mentioned in this Angular brackets, right? Less than, greater than symbol, and because of that. This is considered as a tag and that's why it is skipping that, right? Now, in this situation, but I want to put this statement as it is on the screen, but it is not possible for me. So, in this situation, what we have to do for this symbol, we have to use code. Here you can see. So, this is called as entity name. So, less than symbol, we can use this code or by using this entity number. So see, LT, this is entity name and has 60, this is entity number. So this is a number for this 60 and as it is a number, here we have to mention it by hash, hash 60. So it stands for, the so 60 is the entity number and as we are mentioning number, we have to mention hash there. Now see, I will show you. So for this, here we have to use ampersand LT semicolon. For this ampersand gt semicolon. So likewise we can mention. Now see I have saved it and now we will refresh it. So in this way I have mentioned this page name in angular brackets and for that purpose we have used entity code. Now see so here we can mention this ampersand lt semicolon instead of that we can also mention this thing number you can mention there so i will show you so see instead of this ampersand lt you can mention hash and 60. now i'm saving it and we will refresh this page so see still we got the less than symbol here we have mentioned hash 60 right we can also mention exact decimal code for the 60. So 60 is written as a 3C. In hexadecimal decimal, we can write 60 as 3C. So at, is it a hexadecimal decimal code? We have to mention X. So see, I will zoom it out. X and 3C. Because 3C is a code, hexadecimal decimal code for the 60. And as it is a hexadecimal decimal code, we can mention X. And as it is the number, before that we have to mention hash. So see, I am saving it. Now we will refresh it. So see, still we got this less than symbol. So in this way we can print all these characters. So especially see, uh, rupee symbol. So rupee symbol is not available on our keyboard. So in that situation, suppose we want to print on the screen, so we can mention it. So for this rupee symbol, we can use this. So entity name is not there for the rupee symbol. So we can buy entity number. 
we can print it. So ampersand hash and this is the entity number 8377. So by this we can print this rupee symbol. In the same way we can print cent symbol. Okay, so ampersand cent semicolon or uh, hash 162 ampersand hash 162. This pound symbol in this way, in symbol, euro symbol like this. In the same way we can print this less than greater than space. So see. Uh, Many times we use this ampersand MBSP. So for space, single space, we can use this ampersand MBSP. Uh, instead of that, we can mention this also. Then for ampersand, ampersand AMP are this code, single quotation mark, double quotation, copyright, registered trademark, and rupee that we have seen. So I will share this blog link in description box. From there, you can take this code. So friends, I hope you like this video. If yes, then click on like, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video. So stay connected. Thank you.